So find yourself into a comfort sitting position. And if you feel that your hip is tight or you, you know, slouching, just use the block and sitting on top of the block can help elevating your hip higher. But sitting on the block, you come slightly forward so that your sitting bone actually come to the edge of the block. It will allow you to bring your pelvis to tilting forward. Yeah, rather than sit towards the back of the block, sliding yourself slightly forward. And then rock your sitting bone side to side, shifts and change, and adjusting until you find your pelvis level and both sitting bone are evenly down toward the floor. Rest your hands on top of the thigh, breathing in, begin to lift the shoulder up. Feel that lengthening the side line of your body and exhale, drop your shoulder down, relax into your face, your jaw. Couple more times, inhale, lift up. Exhale, side up. One more time, breathing in. And exhale, drop the shoulder down, rest your hands down toward the floor. Feel the waves of your elbow down towards the earth and begin to lengthen into your spine from the lower back, mid back, upper back, all the way to the crown of it. Bring your gaze slightly forward down towards the floor or if you feel comfortable then gently closing your eyes. Begin to observing your breath without changing anything. Watch the in-breath by noticing the refreshing air just passing through both nostrils. <clears throat> Observing the warm air that just releasing out from your body, from your exhale. Noticing that flow of your in-breath and out-breath without changing the patterns. If you're noticing your breath is a little bit shallow or choppy, Focusing on your exhale in the next few breaths. Each exhale, feel that emptiness inside your body so that you're creating the space for the next in-breath. Then very slowly with each in-breath, begin to draw the air in more and more. Feeling up your lung capacity. Allow your chest and ribs to expand. The exhale, find that emptiness inside your body. Just breathe, relaxing each part of your body from the crown of the head all the way down to the toe, including your arms and fingers. Allow that flow of your breath to be smooth and steady. As you draw the air in more and more with each in-breath, noticing the parts of the body that expanding. Maybe you might feel it with your chest or your ribs. And if you breathe deep enough, you might noticing your belly begin to rise on its own without pushing. The exhale, softening to your chest, draw your ribs in with the spine, empty the air out from your stomach. A few more rounds like that. Maybe even follow your breath inside your body. Noticing where you feel that breath landing. Sensing how you feel so that you can connect your breath to what your mind. Allowing you to arrive here in this present moment, the moment of the here and the now. Inhale fully, exhale completely. Smooth, steady flow. Then connecting your breath to what's your mind. Noticing the thoughts, emotion, and feeling. If you're noticing the sensation or the thoughts inside your brain, drifting it away somewhere else, then begin to focusing back towards the parts of your body. Maybe anchor your breath toward your chest so that you bring your awareness towards your breathing. Noticing the in-breath, your chest expanding. The out-breath, the, the chest falling back toward the spine. 
then begin to noticing how your body feels today. If you're dealing with any previous injury or feel any tension or tightness somewhere, throughout your whole practice, taking modification or adjustment remaining. Let this be the journey, not the destination. Practicing with loving and kindness to yourself by not judging or compete with others. In the next couple breath, giving yourself time to set up the intention of your practice. What brought you here today? How would you like your practice to be? Slowly find your way back to your natural breath. At your own time, then gently open up your eyes. Breathing in, arms out, reaching it up and allow the palms to touch. Exhale, floating that hands right in front of your heart. Try it again, inhale, arms out and up, reaching and this time lengthen left side, right side equally. Then interesting your hands, bend the elbow. Breathing in, lengthening more and as you reaching your arms up, feel the side body. Exhale, draw the navel into the spine, rounding your back one vertebrae at a time, chin toward your chest, push your palms away. Breathing in, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time, lift your arms up. Exhale, tilting over to your left side, roll your right shoulder back, lift from your waistline up. Inhale, coming back toward the center. Exhale, tilting over to your right, roll your left shoulder up away from your hip. Breathing in, coming back toward the center. Exhale, circle the arms behind, feel the chest expanding as you draw your shoulder away from your chest area. Inhale, extending the arms behind, even open up the chest more, maybe even tilting the chin up toward your chest, lift the chest away from your belly. Exhale, hinging forward from the hips, leaving with your heart just a few inch. Let your chest held toward the forearms arms back. Feel that expansion. Inhale, stacking the spine up. Exhale, releasing your hands. If you're sitting on the block, then moving the block away. Roll your knee to one side. Press yourself back up into your table or hands and knee. Allow your knee to be underneath your head, your wrist underneath your shoulder. Spread your fingertips wide. Shift the weight with your right knee, breathing in, extending left leg behind, press the heel away. Feel that engaging into your glute, slightly squeeze into your right buttock as you reaching the heart forward. Exhale, draw the navel into the spine, rounding your back, chin toward your chest. Inhale, extending the leg behind, press the heel away. Exhale, turn the head to your right side, then roll your left foot over to your right, anchor down for your toe, press the heel away, lift your thigh bone. Breathing in, coming back toward the center, lift the chest, lift the gaze up. Exhale, draw that leg out to the left side, lower the heel down, point your toe up, lift to the chest. Breathing in, coming back up toward the center, lift your leg up. Exhale, knee forward toward your chest, navel in toward the spine. Breathing in, extending. Breathing out, turn over to your right side, lower the right foot down, press the heel away. Inhale, back toward the center. Exhale, left leg out to the side, lower the heel down, and this time, Draw your left arm out and up, lift the chest toward the ceiling, twisting over to your left side. Breathe, inhale, exhale, hands down toward the floor, begin to shift your tailbone towards your right heel. Draw your left heel away from your body, feel that stretch toward the inner thigh. Inhale, rock your shoulder forward, exhale, shifting back. Once you find the edge option, lower your elbow down toward the floor. 
pause right here, draw your heel away, noticing the sensation towards the inner thigh. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, press your hands down, then begin to draw your knee back to find your table, noticing the difference, then we switch the side to the second side. Shift the weight toward your left knee, breathing in, extending right leg behind, press the heel away, leg to the chest, roll your outer heel on the right side away so that the inner thigh roll in, pelvis are level. Exhale, draw your knee forward toward your chest, navel in, breathing in, lengthening, lift the chest, exhale, cross the right leg over to your left side, toe down, Press the heel away, lift the thigh bone up, draw your chest over to your left side. Inhale, coming back toward the center. Exhale, knee forward toward your chest. Breathing in, extending behind. Exhale, right leg out to the side, lower the heel down, press the heel away. Breathing in, coming back toward the center. Exhale, knee forward toward your chest. Inhale, extending the leg behind. Exhale, cross to your left side, lower the toe down, turn the head to your left. Inhale, back toward the center. Exhale, right leg out to the side, lower the heel down. Adjust until your ankle, knees and hips in the alignment. Breathing in, draw your right arms out and up, lift the chest up toward the ceiling, allow that twist towards the right side. Continue to breathe, inhale, exhale, hands down toward the floor, then begin to rock your shoulder forward as you exhale, shift your left tailbone closer towards your heel, lengthening your arm. Breathing in, shift your shoulder forward, Breathing out, shift your tailbone back, option, lower your forearms and elbow down, sliding the right heel away from your body, noticing where you feel the sensation. Let it go, allow the breath to draw you down toward the floor. Breathing in, press to your hands, lengthen your arms, then begin to draw your knee back to find your table. Open up your knee wide, big toe touch. Shift the tailbone towards the heel, forehead rest on the floor, child pose. You can come back to this pose anytime throughout your whole practice. Breathing in, circle the arms behind your back, interest your hands behind, roll the shoulder away from your chest. Option, bring the arms up toward the ceiling into your yoga mudra pose. Feel your heart melting down closer toward your floor with each exhale. To loosen up the tension in your neck and shoulder, on your next exhale, you're gonna roll your right ear down toward the floor, turn the head over to your left side. Breathing in, roll your forehead back toward the center, exhale, left ear, left shoulder down, turn the head to your right. Inhale back toward the center. Exhale, drop your arms down. Releasing your hands. Feel your body. When you're ready, extending the arm forward. Breathing in, tuck in the toe. Lift the knee off from the ground. Tailbone up toward the sky, downward facing dog. This is an upside down V chair position, adjusting hands and feet position, maybe walking your feet slightly forward to protect your shoulder. Once you find the weight evenly, then begin to paddle into your feet by bending one knee at a time, walk the dog. Engaging your abdominal, draw the navel in toward the spine, lift your tailbone up high. Lengthening to your arms by push your palms away, feel your ribcage come closer toward your thigh bone. When you're ready, then shift the weight toward your right foot, breathing in, extending right leg behind up toward the ceiling, three legged dog. Exhale, bending your left knee, open the hips out to the side. Inhale, squaring your hip. Exhale, stepping your left foot to the outside of your left hands and grabbing the block to frame your foot. 
Bring the block slightly behind your left foot so that your wrist is underneath your shoulder. As you're stepping in, make sure that you step your left foot forward enough so that the weight is coming down to your heel, your knee on top of the ankle. Slowly resting your right elbow, right hands on top of the block. Inhale, left hands on top of the left thigh. Option, if this is too much for you, you can lower your right knee down toward the floor. Otherwise, twisting as you're lifting your left arms up, turn the chest over to your left side. Relaxing to your face, your jaw. Deep breath in, exhale, hands down to grab your thigh bone, lower your right knee down on top of your toe. Bring both hands toward your left thigh, adjusting to bring your tailbone down, draw your hips slightly forward. Roll your ribcage in as you draw your arms out, reaching it up toward the sky into your low crescent lunge. Deep breath in. Breathing out slowly, release. Bring your hand inside your left foot. Heel toe your foot, left foot out and turn the toe out to the side. Option to lower your elbow down either towards the block or towards the floor one at a time into your lizard pose. Remember to turn your left foot slightly away so that you're creating the space between your rib cage and your thigh bone. You can always lengthen in your arms and put your hands down toward the floor. So choose the option that works for your body. Let that inner thigh step, stretch, softening to the jaw. One more breath here, breathing in. Breathing out, press your left foot down, heel toe your foot in, move the block away. Sliding that left leg behind, lengthening the leg back, press to the heel, lift the chest up. Option, right arm forward to find yourself into a spinal balance as you extend the arm and leg into an opposite direction. Deep breath in. Breathing out, bring your hands down, bring your knee down, find yourself into your table. Inhale, tuck in the toe, lift the knee off in the brow, tailbone up toward the sky, back to your downward facing dog. Breathing in, shifting the shoulder forward on top of the wrist toward the top of the push-up or plank pose. Exhale, knee down toward the floor, on top of the toe, kneeling plank. Breathing in, exhale, bend the elbow, lower the chest down toward the floor, Chaturanga Dadasana. Relaxing shoulder and jaw, elbow closer toward your ribcage. Breathing in, peeling shoulder, chest away from the floor, press your hip down, belly down toward the floor. Stay right here in your cobra pose, particularly those who have lower back pain. Otherwise, press into your hand, lengthen your arm, Roll the shoulder back and down, upward facing dog. Inhale, tuck in the toe, lift the knee off from the ground, tailbone back up toward the sky, downward facing dog. Adjusting hands and feet position. Each inhale, lengthen the tailbone up. Each exhale, navel in toward the spine. Then when you're ready, shift the weight toward your left foot, breathing in right leg behind, up toward the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bending your left knee, open the hips out to the side. Inhale, squaring your head. Exhale, stepping right foot forward between your hands, then grabbing the block between your foot. Keep your right knee on top of the right ankle. Move the block slightly away so that your wrist is underneath your shoulder. Then left hand on top of the block, right hand on top of the thigh. Press back to your left heel, lengthening to your thigh bone. Breathing in, begin to draw your arms up. Exhale, twisting over to your right side. Allow your chest to be expanding. One more breath, breathing in. Breathing out slowly, bring your right hands on your thigh, lower your left knee down on top of the toe. Bring both hands on top of the thigh and begin to tilt the tailbone down, lift the chest up away from your belly. Deep breath in, arms out, pop your ribcage in, just reaching it up. 
from your waistline up into your low crescent lunge. Exhale, slowly release, bring both hands inside your right foot, then heel toe your foot to the corner edge, turn the toe out to the side. Option to bring your hands on top of the block or begin to lower your elbow down one at a time into your lizard pose. Listening to your body. Do what your body can do and observing the sensation towards the area that you feel the stretch so that you can send in your breath energy towards that area. Allow the tension to be melting down towards the floor. One more breath right here to your lizard pose. Breathing in, breathing out, slowly press yourself back up. Put your right foot in, heel toe your foot in towards the mat and move the block away. Sliding that right leg behind, press the heel away, squeeze into your right foot, lift the chest up. Once you find yourself balanced, option to extending left arm forward. By drawing arms and legs into an opposite direction, creating the length and find that balance. Stay right here for one more breath. Deep breath in. Breathing out, bring your hands down, knee down. Option to extending the arm forward, lower your elbow and forearms down into your puppy pose or choose the child pose by opening up your knee wide. Tailbone towards your heel, forehead rest on the floor. Once you find the position or the pose that you like, allow yourself to surrender down towards the earth. Checking in with your breath, noticing how you feel. When you're ready, then come back to your table. Inhale, tuck in the toe, lift the knee off from the ground, tailbone up toward the sky, downward facing down. Open up your feet wide, about mat width apart, turn the toe out to the side. Bending your knee, begin to walk in your hands back towards your feet and grabbing your hands toward your thigh bone, coming up into a slightly goddess pose. Breathing in, tailbone down, lift to the crown of the head. Draw your knee towards your toe. So your knee rolling in, press out by lift to your arch and your big toe. Press it down towards the outer edge on the pinky side. Deep breath in, exhale, sinking down deeper as you draw your knee apart. Bring your hands in front of you. One more breath, inhale, squeeze in the thigh, coming up halfway, exhale, sinking down, tailbone down, reaching through the proud of the head. Then begin to draw your arms out at the, the shoulder height, bend at the elbow. Exhale, begin to release in the elbow up and point the fingertips down toward the floor. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, elbow, knee, hands, knee at the center. Deep breath in, open up the arms out wide. This time as you exhale, bring your hands to grab to your thigh bone and draw your tailbone back, bring your chest down toward the floor. Breathe, inhale, exhale, left shoulder toward your right knee, relaxing the upper back, turn the chest over to your right. Inhale, back toward the center. Exhale, right shoulder, left knee, relaxing to your neck and shoulder, facing up toward the ceiling. Deep breath in, coming back toward the center. Exhale, release, push down to your heel, squeeze your inner thigh and draw your arms out, reaching it up, widen your arms, five point star. Exhale, bring your hands toward your heart, heel toe your foot in, Coming to pause and checking in with your body. If you're out of breath, slowly breathing out, releasing all the air out from your body. Then slowly breathing in once again. Find yourself connecting to what your body. Each exhale, letting go more and more that you feel your feet grounding down towards the earth. Once your heart rate back into your normal, 
Then gently releasing your arms out on your inhale, lengthening left side, right side equally. Then right hands grab into your left wrist. Exhale, tilting over to your right, press down toward your left foot as if you're trying to slide your left foot away from the right and lifting the left shoulder up away from your hip. Noticing the ribcage on your left side, expanding. Breathing in, coming back toward the center. Exhale, release. Switch side, left hand, right wrist. Breathing in, lengthening first, then exhale, root it down toward your right foot and lift that hips up toward your shoulder, shoulder away from your hip. Feel that side body, the intercostal muscle stretching from your right hip toward your right shoulder. Inhale back toward the center. Exhale, release. Draw your arms down. Breathing in, lift the shoulder up. Exhale, side it out and drop it down. Checking arms and leg out and get ready for your balance pose. And today, balance pose will be in three poses. Allow your feet to be hip width apart. Soft bending your knee, hands to your hip. Begin to rotating by circle your knees so that you can release the joint from your ankle, knees and hip. Then slowly reverse to the opposite side. Coming to find your steadiness into your mountain pose, gazing about 15-20 feet forward, down toward the floor. Trying to find your still point. Breathing in, rock forward toward the ball of the foot, lift the heel up, press through your big toes, squeeze that inner thigh, strengthening to your ankle, preparation for your balance. Exhale, lower your heel down, flex that toe back towards your knee, lift through your arch. One more time, inhale, rock forward, lift through the heel. Breathing out, lower the heel down, flexing that toe back. Then shift the weight towards your right foot. Inhale, lift your left knee up. Exhale, turn the knee out to the side. Sliding that left heel toward your right ankle. Stay right here and stay focused toward your right foot as it rooted down toward the floor. Next option, you can come to a tippy toe or press with your calf or all the way up towards your inner thigh. By passing the joint, try not to press toward your knee. Once your right leg is steady, then you can engage in by draw your arms out to the side, up toward the ceiling. Once you find your three pose, each inhale, feel that lightness from your hips toward your shoulder, shoulder toward your fingertip, reaching it up to find your sun. Breathing out, Allow that gravity, draw your right foot down toward the floor. Feel that connection towards the earth. Continue to breathe. Find your own signature pose. One last breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your arms down, bring your left foot down, feel the effect. Shaking your leg out, open up your feet wide, twisting side to side. Lift the opposite heel up from the floor to protecting your knee. Then slowly coming back, find your feet hip width apart, hands to your hips, stillness into your mountain pose. When you're ready, then shift the weight toward your left foot, breathing in right heel up. Exhale, turn the knee out to the side, then bring right heel left hand. Taking your time, and this is your second side, so move when your body is ready. Try not to rush the process. Listening to your body, where you want to press your right foot. Once your left leg is steady, then you begin to move your arm. Try not to move your arm before your leg is steady. Bring the gaze down to what the floor will help you. Each inhale, find that lightness all the way up toward your fingertips. Each exhale, feel the heaviness of your left foot grounding down toward the floor. 
three pose vikasana one more breath breathing in breathing out bring your arms down right foot down noticing the difference between your left side right side then open your feet wide twisting side to side when your body ready then come back towards the tops of the mat feet hip width apart inhale bring your arms out reaching it up toward the sky breathing out circle your arm forward shift the weight down towards your heels sinking the tailbone down arm forward into your chair pose exhale begin to airplane the arms back draw your ribcage toward your thigh bone chest curve toward the floor squeezing into your belly breathing in arm forward then bring the palms touch elbow touch Exhale, bring your elbow towards your knee, point your fingertips down toward the floor into your elephant pose. Gently squeeze into your belly, engaging your core. Inhale, rising back up, then reaching the arm forward at the shoulder height. Exhale, twist to your right left hand outside your right leg. Right arm can be behind or up toward the ceiling. Noticing if your left sitting bone shifting forward, meaning your left knee come forward, draw your knee back side by side, let the twist come from your west side up. Breathing in, untwist, bring your arm forward. Exhale, twist to your left side, right hand outside your left leg, left arm behind or up toward the ceiling into an aqua arm. One more breath here, deep breath in. Breathing out, release, bring your arm forward, lengthening to your torso. Breathe, mm -hmm. inhale, exhale, forward fold, hitting from the hips, draw your navel in with the smile, bring your ribcage closer to what your thigh bone hangs down toward the floor. Soft bending your knee, listening to your body. Option, hands can grab behind your leg onto an opposite elbow. Nodding yes, let your torso sway forward and back or side to side, letting go of all that tension, particularly in your neck and shoulder. Allow the crowd ahead to be heavy down toward the floor, take a gaze in between your legs. Feel that lengthening towards the back of your neck. Once you have enough, then slowly release, bring your hands down, shift the weight with your right foot, Breathing in, step your left foot behind, lower the heel down, turn the toe out to the side. Right hands on top of the right thigh, lift your torso up. Taking your time before you even open up your arm, feel that your right knee on top of the angle as you root it down toward your heel, you can lift your toe up. Then begin to draw your arms out wide into your warrior tree. Allow your heel to be away, soften into your shoulder. Inhale, press down to your heel, squeeze your inner thigh, lift your arms up, straightening your leg. Feel that lengthening from your rest line up. Exhale, bend your knee, open up the arms out wide, turn the gaze forward toward your left hand as you lift your left arms up. Noticing if you roll in towards your big toe, press to the pinky edge, knee pointing forward. Breathing in, left arms up. Exhale, draw your right shoulder up towards the ceiling, away from your right hip. Observing the space that you're creating from the front rib cage. Noticing the weight shift it towards the back of your heel. Lengthening and lightness towards the front. Deep breath in, exhale, open up the arms out wide, bring your hands to your hip, turn the right toe over to your left side, adjusting until the ten toe pointing forward. Heel toe your foot out until your heel is wider and turn the big toe in almost like a pigeon toe. Tailbone down toward the floor, reaching through the crown head. Deep breath in, exhale, hinge toward from the hips. Begin to feel like you're sliding your heel apart as you're hinging and bring your chest down toward the floor. Dragging your heel apart so that you let your tailbone widening, 
and roll the inner thigh in toward the center. When your body ready, either grabbing the block or bring your hands down toward the floor and curl the head down into your wide leg, forward fold. Breathe. Then press your left hands down toward the floor. Inhale, draw your right arms out and up. Lift the chest up, lengthening to the right rib cage. One more breath. Breathing in, breathing out, bring your hands down toward the floor. Bending to your left knee, walking both hands toward your left foot, lengthening and stretching your right leg. Dragging your right heel away from your hips, relaxing to your shoulder, neck and jaw. Inhale, walking your hands back toward the center, noticing the difference. Then exhale, bend your right knee, bring both hands toward your right foot, press your left heel away, noticing the stretching towards the inner thigh area on your left side. Breathe, inhale slowly back toward the center, pause here, and begin to turn the right toe to face the front, bring both hands back, then shift your right foot back to meet up with the left into your downward facing dog. Option to come down to your thigh pose by bringing your knee down toward the floor. If you're staying here into your downward facing dog, paddling to your feet, ease off all the tension behind your leg. If you continue to stay into your thigh pose or come up into your downward facing dog, Breathing in, shifting the shoulder forward on top of the wrist with the top of the foot up or plank pose. Exhale, knee down toward the floor, knee in plank, uncurling your toe. Deep breath in, exhale, bend the elbow, lower the chest down toward the floor, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, peeling shoulder chest away from the floor. Keep your elbow closer toward your ribcage. Stay right here, press into your hand, lengthen your arms, roll the shoulder back, upward facing dog. Breathing in, tuck in the toe, lift the knee off of the ground, tailbone back up toward the side, downward facing dog. Bend your knee, eye looking forward, walking your feet forward toward your hand, standing forward fold. Breathing in halfway up, hands press to your thigh bone, soft bending your knee, chest parallel toward the floor. Exhale, release, hands down toward the floor, shift the weight toward your left foot, step right foot back, heel down, turn the toe out to the side. Left hands on top of the left thigh, open the arms out wide with opposite direction, warrior two. Taking a moment, make sure you root it down toward your left heel, left knee stacking on top of the ankle. So if your arch is collapsing, press it more to the outer edge of your foot. Inhale, straight the leg, lengthen into your arms, lift your torso up. As if you slide your heel apart, engaging your leg muscle. Exhale, bend your left knee forward, draw your right heel away, arms open out wide into your warrior two. Turn the gaze toward your right left hand as you flip your left arms up. Inhale, left arms up toward the sky, right arms behind your back. Noticing if you feel the weight towards the big toe, shift that weight toward the outer edge of your foot so that the knee are pointing forward. Breathe, inhale, exhale, bring your arms down, hands to your hip, turn the toe over to your right side, adjusting until you find the grounding on both feet. Drag your heel apart, turn the big toe slightly in, deep breath in, exhale, soft bending your knee, hinging forward from the hips, draw your thigh bone back, chest parallel toward the floor. Feel that outer edge of your foot sliding apart and when you're ready, hands either grabbing the block or bring both hands down toward the floor. Relaxing to your shoulder, neck and jaw, maybe nodding yes once again. When you're ready, then right hands down underneath your chest toward the floor, 
Inhale, lifting your left arms up. Turn the chest over to your left side. Noticing engaging to that right foot by dragging your right heel back so that your pelvis are level. Deep breath in. Breathing out, left hands down toward the floor. Then find your right foot, bend your right knee. Breathing in, walking both hands toward your right foot. Press your left heel away. Noticing the sensation towards the inner thighs and groin area. Inhale, walking the hands back toward the center. Then slowly bend your left knee, walking both hands toward your left foot. Draw your right heel away. Continue to breathe. On your next inhale, bring your hands back toward the center. Then turn the left toe forward. Bring both hands to the left foot. Step left foot back. To meet up with the right to find your downward facing dog. Paddling to your feet. Releasing all the tension. Breathing in, shifting the shoulder forward on top of the wrist or the top of the push up or plank pose. Exhale, knee down toward the floor, meaning plank and curling your toe. Deep breath in, exhale, bend the elbow, lower the chest down toward the floor, Chaturanga Nandasana. Breathing in, peeling shoulder chest away from the floor. Stay right here in your cobra pose or press into your hand. Lengthen your arms, roll the shoulder back, upward facing dog. Then slowly bend your elbow, releasing your whole front body down, turn the cheek to one side, doesn't matter what side. Then let it go of your arms, bring your arm along the side of your body, palm facing down. Feel the front body and the chest pressing down toward the floor, relaxing your whole body. Then begin to bend your knee, bring the sole of the foot up toward the ceiling, point and flex the toe. Circle your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise, letting go of all that tension. Then roll your knee side to side, ease off all the tension into your lower back and your lumbar spine. Slowly press the tops of the feet down, bring your chin on tops of the mat, hands underneath your shoulder. Breathing in, tuck in the toe, lift the knee off from the ground, tailbone back up toward the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, shifting the weight toward your left foot, lifting your right leg behind up toward the ceiling, three like a dog. Exhale, drawing your right knee forward, blow it down right behind your right wrist. Then extending left leg behind to find your pigeon pose. Walking your hands back to bring your wrist underneath your shoulder. Grabbing a block to help supporting underneath your right sitting bone so that you keep your pelvis level rather than tilting to one side. Drawing your chest up away from your belly. When your body ready, on your next inhale, begin to walking your hands forward. First option, lower your elbow down. Next option, bring your forehead down toward the floor into your bow pigeon pose. Continue to breathe and sending the breath energy towards the area that you feel tension and tightness. Allow yourself to surrender towards the pose. One more breath, breathing in, breathing out, begin to walk in your hands back, move the block away. Then begin to bending the back foot by bringing your left heel closer toward your buttock, reaching the heart up. Some of you, this is enough, stay right here. The next option, reaching right arm forward, on your next exhale, twist and turn your torso over to your right side, right hand scrapping into your left foot. Lift the chest up away from your belly. Continue to breathe. Inhale. Exhale, releasing your right hand back, left foot down, tuck in the toe. 
Inhale, step your right foot back, meet up with the left into your downward facing dog. Pause and notice the difference. When you're ready, shift the weight with your right foot, breathing in left leg behind, up with the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your left knee forward, bring it rest behind your left wrist, extending right leg behind. Press the tops of the feet down, rock your sitting bone side to side as you bring your wrist underneath your shoulder. Then begin to grab in the block, press it down underneath your left sitting bone, keep your pelvis level so that your toss ones are not tilting to one side, but more about lift the chest up away from your belly. Breathe right here, let your right quarter step down closer toward the floor, stretching to your hip flexor. Exhale, walking your hands forward and find the version that works for you, whether you put your elbow down or forehead rest on the floor. Listening to your body and allow your front hip to let it go. Feel that relaxing to your hips, to your lower back. Stay right here for one more breath. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Begin to press into your hands, walking your wrist back towards your shoulder. Move the block away. Relax into your shoulder. Breathing in, begin to bend your right knee. Bring the heel towards your buttock. Staying right here, take the next option. Breathe, inhale, reaching the arm forward. Exhale, slowly twist to your left side. Left hand grabbing to your right foot. Relax into that right quadricep. Feel the stretch into the front of your right thigh bone. One more breath, breathing in. Breathing out slowly, release. Bring your hands down, foot down. We're gonna change this time. You're gonna roll to your left side of your hips. Right hand grabbing your right leg forward. As your right leg forward, you can either press your right foot in front of you or cross the right foot to the outside of your left thigh. By doing that, make sure that your right sitting bone are down, weight evenly on both sides. Then begin to draw your right thigh bone towards your left rib cage as you bring your torso up, reaching up towards the crowd ahead. Left arms now gonna wrap in front of your right thigh bone. Inhale, reaching right arm forward. Exhale, begin to twist and turn over to your right side, right fingertips down toward the floor. Relax into the right shoulder. Each inhale, lift your torso up, bring your rib cage closer toward your right thigh bone. Each exhale, twisting as you draw your right shoulder away from your left hip. Stay right here and begin to slowly turn your chin over toward your left shoulder. Exhale, tilting the ear down, relaxing to the right shoulder by bringing the right shoulder away from your right ear. Breathe, inhale, lift the crowd the head back up. Exhale, arm twist, bring your torso back. Left hand's now gonna grab into the outside edge of your right foot. Right hand's supporting underneath your right thigh bone. Now if you're leaning back, draw your right thigh bone towards your ribcage, reaching up tall. Exhale, see whether you can turn the right knee towards your left shoulder. Next option, extending the right heel away. Stay here on next option, you need to turn the chest over to your right, open the right arms away from your body. Breathe, keep reaching up tall, try not to lean back. Exhale, bending your right knee, bring your right hands back, supporting your leg. Lower the foot down one at a time. Feet met with apart, hands outside your hip, and roll your knees side to side. Ease the tension before we try the second side. When you feel ready, you're gonna start to bend your left foot, to left knee, not left foot, and bring the left foot to the right hip, 
And first option is to bend into your right knee, right foot forward. Oh no, we have to switch. Sorry. So you're gonna bring the right foot towards your left hip. Bending your left knee, left foot forward is your first option. Second option, you can cross your left foot to the outside of your right thigh. Press your left sitting bone down. Draw your knee and your thigh bone towards your right rib cage as you're reaching up tall. Then wrap your right arm in front of your left shin bone. Inhale, reaching left arm forward. As you exhale, slow motion, turn your chest over to your left side. Lower your left fingertips down toward the floor. Breathing into lengthening. Breathing out, draw your left shoulder away from your right hip. Allow that twist from your waistline up. Keep grounding down toward your right sitting bone. Breathing in, begin to slowly turn your chin over to your right shoulder. Exhale, tilting the ear down toward the floor. Relaxing to your left shoulder, maybe walking your left hand slightly away. Find the length to the left side of your neck, softening to your jaw. Inhale, then lift your head back up. Exhale, arm twist, turn your torso back. Right hand's gonna grab to the outside edge of your left foot. Breathing in, draw your left knee toward your right shoulder. Next option, extending the leg out. Lift to the crown of the head. Inhale, draw your arms out. As you exhale, you turn your chest over to your left side. Just breathe and relaxing to your whole body. One more breath. Inhale, exhale, left hand grab underneath your thigh, bend your knee, relaxing the foot down, bring the sole of the foot towards one another and rock your sitting bone side to side, lift your knee up and down. Once your heel come closer towards your body, option you can grab at the angle or interest your hands, bring it down underneath your pinky. Draw your knee back up toward your hip as you reach in the crowd, the head up. Bow ankle pose. Stay right here. Next option, bending your elbow, hinging forward from the hips, navel in toward the spine. As you exhale, draw your chest forward, down closer toward the floor. Listening to your body, try not to hinge in deeply that you feel the pain towards the inner thighs and groin area. Just allow you to feel that sensation. Stay right here for one more breath. Breathing in, breathing out slowly, release. Bring your hands down underneath your knee, draw your knee towards one another. Step both feet forward, rest your ribcage toward your thigh bone. Allow your hands to rest on tops of your feet, relaxing through your body. When you're ready, then slowly come back up. Bring the hands outside your hips. Lift the toe up toward the ceiling. Relaxing to your shoulder by drawing your shoulder away. Hug your shoulder blade toward the center. Lift the chest up toward the ceiling. Staying right here on your next exhale. Begin to lift the foot up from the floor and navel in toward the spine. See what you can release in your arm forward, lengthening to your torso. Lift the chest up away from your belly. You can stay right here, hands down, breathing in, breathing out. We're gonna twist by bringing left hand to the outside of your right leg, right arms behind. Inhale back toward the center. Exhale, right hands outside your left leg, left arms behind. Breathing in back toward the center. Exhale, twist. Inhale back toward the center. Exhale, twist. Breathing in back toward the center. Pause into this upward forward pose. Exhale, release, bring everything down. Rest your torso down, soften into your belly. 
Feeling your belly rising on your inhale, softening and empty the air out from your belly on your next exhale. Then slowly come back up, scooting forward towards the tops of the mat and grabbing the belt with you. Tap the block nearby. And very slowly taking your time to lie down towards the floor. Draw your knee towards your chest. Tuck yourself in, roll side to side. Slowly lower your foot down towards the floor one at a time. Grabbing your belt. Breathing in, wrap the belt towards the ball of the right foot, extending right leg up. Lower your elbow down closer towards the floor so that your shoulder are down. Point and flex the toe a couple of times. Noticing as you flex the toe towards your knee, press the heel up away from your tailbone. Noticing where is it that you feel the stretch. Allow the back of your leg, the hamstring area, to releasing that tension behind the leg. Then when your body ready, inhale, extending left leg out, down toward the floor, press to the heel, flexing the toe. Right arms out to the side at the shoulder height level. Exhale, roll your right leg over to your left side, Draw your heel away from your hip. Keep your right shoulder down. Option to turn the head over to your right side. Keep reaching right arms away. One more breath, breathing in. Breathing out slowly, bend your right leg and bring your leg back toward the center. Then we switch, lift your left leg up, lower your right foot down, bend your right knee. Bring both elbow down, shoulder down towards the floor, then point and flex the toe. Releasing that tension behind your Achilles, your gastroc or your calf muscle and your hamstring. One more breath, breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale, begin to extend your right leg out, down towards the floor, press to your heel, flexing the toe. Bring the belt towards your right hands, breathing in, left arms out to the side, away from your body. Exhale, roll your left leg over to your right side, reaching left arms away, keep your left shoulder down. Option, see whether you can press your left heel and flexing your toe. Relaxing to the face and jaw. Option, you can turn the head to your left side. One more breath, breathing in. Breathing out slowly, bend your left leg and bring your left leg back toward the center. Letting go of your belt. Draw both knees back up with your chest one more time. Roll side to side, massaging your back area. Very slowly lower your foot down toward the floor one at a time, walking your heel closer toward your buttock. Then grabbing the block, breathing in, press down to your feet, lift the hips up and sliding the block right behind your sacrum. The flat area below your lower back and couple inch above your sitting bone. Grounding down towards both feet and along the side of your body. Breathing in, begin to press towards your feet, lift your hips up, lengthening your knee forward on top of the ankle, relaxing to your thigh bone, open up to your hip flexor. On your next exhale, releasing your sacrum down towards the block. Inhale, shift the weight towards your left foot, extending right leg up. Now you can continue to rest your sacrum down or pressing towards your left foot. Lift the hips up. Draw your left knee forward on top of the ankle. Feel the activating towards your left glute. 
Breathe, inhale, exhale, lower your left foot down, bend your left knee. Option, you can bring your sacrum down towards the block, otherwise shift the weight towards your right foot. Breathing in, extending left leg up toward the ceiling. Root it down towards your right foot to lift your right hip up evenly with the left side. Feel that glute activating into your right side of your hip. One more breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bend your left knee. Lower your left foot down. Then slowly bring your sacrum down towards the block. Pause and relax. When your body ready, then reaching the arms overhead. Stretching left side, right side equally that you breathe deeply to feel the space in front of your rib cage to relax in the tension from your psoas muscle. When your body ready, then extending the leg out down toward the floor one at a time. Roll your inner thigh in, point the toe forward, maybe big toe touch. Feel the lengthening as arm and leg pointing into an opposite direction. Noticing that lightness into the front body from your tops of the feet all the way to your thigh bone, rib cage, armpit. Deep breath in, exhale, begin to bring your arms back, bend your knee one at a time. Once your arms are along the side of your body, breathing in, press down toward your hands and feet. Lift the hips up and moving the block away. Lower your body down. Once your body is down toward the floor, maybe roll your knees side to side to ease off all the tension. When you're ready, then slowly bend your knee one at a time. Draw your knee towards your arm, hip, lift the sole of the foot up toward the ceiling. Widen your knee once to find the edge. Lower your elbow down toward the floor and begin to circle your ankle clockwise, counterclockwise. Point and flex the toe. Releasing all the tension and do what your body needs to do before you lie down for your relaxation. When your body is ready for your relaxation, lower the foot down toward the floor one at a time. Finding two blocks and press each block underneath your leg to help elevating your leg higher than your hip. That will help ease the tension off from your lower back. Widen your leg. See whether you need to lift your hips up and replacing it down. Once you find your lower back down toward the floor, allow your mid back, shoulder blade all resting down. Then bring your arms slightly away from your body. Feel the front of your body lightness and the heaviness towards the back body. Letting go of all the gripping and holding, particularly towards your face and jaw. Let the tongue fall to the top roof of your mouth and see whether option to close your eyes or keep gazing up toward the ceiling. Wherever you are, begin to connecting back towards your breath and follow the breath inside your body. Each inhale, feel the front body expanding and each exhale, melting the back body down toward the floor as you surrender yourself. Allowing these to be the time for your body to rest and unwind. The time to rejuvenate and let your body, riding with the waves of your own breath, to find a journey to your deep relaxation.
slowly begin to bring your awareness back towards your body. Using your hands to move the block away and press your body down toward the floor. Feel your body connecting down more towards the earth. Then begin to allow your head gently turn side to side, maybe wiggling to your hands, your toes. Breathing in, reaching the arms overhead and point the toe forward. Allow the whole body to stretch, finding that space. Exhale, bend your knee one at a time. Draw your knee up towards your chest, hands on tops of the knee. Roll yourself side to side, finding that awakening towards your body. Then the next time your body roll to your right side, bring the bottom arm to supporting your head, neck and shoulder. Draw your knee slightly up toward your chest, just like the way you're curling in into the mother's womb. Feel that sense of ease and letting go. When your body ready, pressing with the top hands to bring yourself back up into your sitting position once again. As you're sitting here, feel your tailbone connecting down more toward the floor. Stacking your spine one vertebrae at a time, lifting to the crowd ahead. Rest your hands on tops of the thigh, relaxing to your shoulder. Taking these final moments to connecting towards your body, feeling your breath, observing the quality of your mind. Witness your experience, feeling the sense of letting go, Noticing that calmness and lightness that you create. Keep all these positive feelings be with you till the next time we meet. Inhale, draw that arms out, reaching it up toward the sky and allow the palms to touch. Exhale, floating the hands right in front of your heart as we bow forward. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining the practice with me today. Have a wonderful Sunday and I will see you back in March because next week is February 27th and I will take one day off.